What does the word home mean? For his artistic project called Under My Roof, Edin Byrich put that question to children and then turned their answers into an exhibition. He's keeping the various items in his studio in Hanover until the kids come by and pick them up again sometime. These are glass jars from the project. They contain things that are important to the kids, things that make a home. There's a whole list here, dad, mom. <laughs> Edin's concept of home is actually quite simple. As soon as I come home, I pull on my Bosnian wool socks, and then I know that I'm home. Edin Bayrich finds inspiration in everyday household items and everyday household activities. This video shows his grandmother in Bosnia sifting cornmeal. It reminds me of home, because we don't do certain things like that here in Germany. In his video, Escape from Dubica, Bayrich described his childhood in Bosnia. Whether we were Serbs, Croats, Bosnians, Montenegrins, Macedonians or Slovenians, we were all Yugoslavs. In his childhood, Muslims, like the Bayrich family, lived together in peace alongside their Catholic and Serbian Orthodox friends and neighbors, until one day the Catholics and Muslims were driven out of the village. In 1993, Edin Bayrich, his parents and two brothers fled the war in Bosnia. His father had refused to serve in the army and their lives were in danger. They all arrived in Germany on tourist visas. They weren't allowed to work. It was clear that we couldn't go back. We got short-term permits. That was the end of Yugoslavia for us. The Bayrich family ended up in Hanover. For Edin, the ruins of the Church of St. Egidius serve as a symbol of refuge. It kind of reminds me of what happened to us. Churches and mosques were among the buildings that were destroyed. They were just wiped off the map. The Bayrich family had to wait 13 years to get permanent residence permits. Here are some of their official documents. It's like a diary, my family history. There are a lot of different passports with different designs. They change the coat of arms and stuff. Here's what the current passport for Bosnia-Herzegovina looks like. Edin has remained a Bosnian citizen to this day, but he calls Hanover home. And he's not only made a name for himself as an artist, he also teaches creative design courses at the Leibniz University. Good morning, Tommy. Hi. <laughs> Here he's discussing an upcoming seminar with a colleague. He likes to combine his university lectures with his own creative projects. And the Under My Roof exhibition he put together with works by 500 school children was put on display in the gallery of a major Hanover bank. I feel like I've really made it. We're right in the middle of the city here. I've lived in Hanover for 23 years now, and this was really nice for me, especially during the summertime. It doesn't get any better than this. Edin's two brothers also worked on the Under My Roof project. He and his younger brother recently traveled to Nepal. Maybe that trip gave him the idea for his new project, called suitcases.